I was a kid, I can remember thinking that there were deeper meanings that existed in baseball. And it was something that troubled me for a long time. It wasn't even until years later that I became aware of the occult influences on the sport. What you have to keep in mind is that baseball was considered religion in this country. It was an arcane ritual for many Americans. The origins of the game are deeply rooted in Masonic practices. The symbolism and the numerology to this day remain hidden in plain sight. There's even been early evidence of mind control used on players. I can only speculate as to the level of occult involvement towards the end of the dead ball era. I personally have always suspected that the Yankee owners at the time, Houston and Rupert, were active participants within the Illuminati. were made. Deals that gave the Yankee organization a significant advantage on the field. The rise of the Yankee Empire in the 1920s is often solely attributed to the Babe. But another noteworthy figure is their submarine pitcher Carl Mace, the spitballer who's been described as an outcast and a loner. And he had this kind of unnatural, contorted, octopus-like delivery. In stark contrast, you have the well-liked Cleveland shortstop Ray Chapman, a gifted ball player and the perfect antithesis to Maze. I believe the Yankees had their eye on Chapman for a long time. Take a closer look into the pennant race of 1920 and the sacrificial killing of Ray Chapman at the hands of Carl Mays.